you've got, you know, maybe 10 more hairs per square centimeter, maybe 15 more hairs per square centimeter. We could move on to the next one, KX826. Just from the name, that sounds like it would have a very high efficacy. And probably no side effects. It almost sounds like a peptide. Correct. But um, it's not a peptide. It is a topical androgen receptor antagonist. So uh, this one was slightly more potent. It's a 0.5% um, in terms of the percentage of the medication being applied. Um, it was applied twice per day. And it looks slightly better in terms of the hair count, although we don't know what the baseline hair counts are. So it could be anywhere from, you know, very good to only modestly effective. Yeah. So <laughs> you've got, you know, maybe 10 more hairs per square centimeter, maybe 15 more hairs per square centimeter. Um, supposedly the phase three trials are ongoing now for this product and they should be done by the end of the year, which is pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to these results and being able to see the actual study and who they selected and what their baseline Norwood score was. Because right now all we have is the the press releases. Yeah, it's and, a teaser trailer. Like yeah. for a movie, they release a couple different trailers and here's the highlights. Have Probably haven't released the lowlights yet. Um, also of note, this is the cousin of RU58841, being another topical androgen receptor antagonist. And it appears that is it is getting further in clinical trials than RU58841. So it does seem more promising. Um, also of note is that it did appear to have efficacy in females as well as males. Yeah, it's nice to see that there's more attention being drawn to androgenic alopecia that's not necessarily a strictly male pattern baldness, but that this can occur in females and tends to occur in females with age just like men. Mm -hmm. 